We make very nice tea. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Runner, and I bring you guys another commentary and in this commentary it's quite the game. I got 40 kills and zero death with the new sniper which I had never had like I never like expected that to happen at all. It's D25S. Uh, I barely use the sniper rifle because yeah I just, I just don't like semi-automatic sniper rifles. I'm a big fan of bolt action sniper rifle. And this one doesn't one shot like 10 out of 10 times. It can one shot, but it doesn't always one shot. So, yeah, it's 14 0. Uh, I believe it's the wall's first D25S nuclear. I haven't seen one out there, so it might be the wall first. Uh, I'll check that afterwards. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's the wall's first. But as we see, I'm playing the map. Uh, I'm playing the map Overgrown, which is one of the better long range maps. Uh, if you're using an M16, I would definitely recommend playing this uh, map because, like, you can like you can spawn trap so good when you play uh, domination. You don't even need to have a team because the spawns like if they get B, they'll like spawn on the gas station for about like one minute before the spa spawn flips anyway. So yeah, you could just stay with an M16 head glitching and just destroying everybody without having like any problem because there's just a lot of head glitches. You can go on the top of the grandma and then you can look over the barn. Uh, they're pretty much spawning inside the barn sometimes so you could definitely get a lot of kills inside the barn and then you can just turn around and shoot gas station. Uh, and you can shoot over the A flag. Yeah, A flag on the bridge where you also can get a lot of kills because people are always trying to capture flags. So yeah, it's not the hardest map to get a lot of kills on. Uh, I did actually struggle to go flawless. Um, I don't know, like for some reason these guys just didn't. They just, they just didn't go for me. Usually when I'm on nuke streak, the entire team starts like hunting for me, looking for me, and the, these guys were just like running into my like scope all the time. You can see when they're spawning in the barn, sometimes I'm getting a lot of like, I wouldn't call it feeds, but I'm getting a lot of multi-kills, and yeah, sometimes they spawn in groups, and sometimes they don't spawn in groups. Uh, when they spawn in groups, it's easy to pick them off, you just need to remain calm. Uh, I've seen a lot of people when they, uh, when they snipe and trying to get a nuke whatever would like they could be an m uh like a submachine gun or it could be a sniper but when they see a lot of people okay. they start like panicking and i just think you need to remain calm uh what i was using this uh like some people would say this gun is not required to have stopping power because you barely never get a one shot anyway so you could like use for example juggernaut or a uv jammer but i use stopping power extreme conditioning and bandolier which worked out fine uh it's definitely i think it's one of the best class setups for this gun i don't think you need stopping power but i went for it either way because you never know you might just pick up an m16 and you start the rest of the game uh but yeah i'm not a big fan of using jug or uv jammer so stopping power is just right up my alley and i think if you have if you don't have stopping power you don't do as good with your uh desert eagle uh, i don't think i use the desert eagle that much uh, i don't even think i got that much helicopter kills in this game either because I was just uh, standing on the roof killing people with a sniper and some people would call this camping and if you wouldn't call it camping sure go ahead but as you see I'm rotating from the spawn uh, I'm just moving around on the roof just looking for people and sometimes there's not any people to find um, you can see that sometimes I get like quads and sometimes I get like one guy then it like when then it go past like one minute before I get another guy uh yeah i think they were pretty much aware that i was sniping so i think they started hiding a lot more and um, yeah i think i could have gotten a lot more kills and got a lot more flawless if my teammates weren't capping that much that much because we hadn't triple capped like almost all the time we didn't have like a uh, double cap so it was like super hard to get a spawn kill uh, or like spawn trap by myself so yeah, I would definitely recommend using this gun. But if you only have, if you only can afford one of the guns, like if you saved up enough scraps and uh, uh, depot credits, I would definitely recommend getting the Mach 10. The Mach 10 is by far one of the best guns in the game. It just works out so good compared to other uh, submachine guns because it doesn't have any recoil, right? And you can just like tap it when you're in ranges, and it has a decent amount of damage, but it has a high fire rate, so. 
uh, you're pretty much just fire up your magazine really quick, and the reload is really slow. But if you can if you can handle it, and then you can like learn how to reload, cancel it, because it's kind of tricky reload canceling it. But yeah, I would definitely recommend at least trying uh, the PKM. It's also a really good gun. That gun just shreds people. I think it's like two two shots across the map sometimes, which is just insane to be honest. It just like destroys people. Uh, it has a lot of rounds as well, and it See, yeah, barely no got any recoil. You just tap with it if it They're gets a lot of recoil. See, so yeah, I hope you guys just then enjoying this gameplay because it's. Easy. I just I don't know. I, I just got it. I wasn't planning for it, but I got it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, the thing I have to talk about is that me and a group of YouTubers are thinking about doing uh, a little collaboration series where we, we make a challenge once a week and then everybody has to make a video on the challenge. The challenge could be like getting the most pistol kills or getting the most tags and kill confirm. Then say if we announce the challenge on Monday and then on maybe Friday everybody has to upload their video. Uh, of like the them one? trying to get, for example, as most tags that they get, and Ooh, the winner would like probably be the guy that gets to announce the next challenge or something. So yeah, it's a little collaboration series. The guys I'm doing it with, they're really awesome guys. I will make sure to link their channels in the description below. Um, if you guys are interested, uh, we are the names are Quest, uh, Lateral Damage, Ledge to Assassin, Spike, and Flick. Uh, and yeah, we're. We just started up doing this and we think about doing it this week or next week. Uh, we're kind of just planning out how to do it and uh, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy that because I'm certainly looking forward to it. Uh, I like playing games with people and the thing is we don't need to even be in party to play together. This is the thing which is really clever is that I can be on PS4 and another guy can be on Xbox or PC. And we could still do the challenge together yeah, or right, against five, each other. Six, it's more like competition, but it's more for fun. It's not like super try hard. I, I'm just gonna do it for fun. Uh, for example, if somebody were to say get the most skills for a shotgun, I would like really struggle by doing it. But if somebody would say uh, try get a nuclear with a uh, handgun, I would like probably have a good chance. Because like it, it's playstyle from playstyle, right? I'm not the most objective player, so if somebody would say like get the most caps in domination, I think that would be a little bit hard for me, because uh, I'm not the most objective player. But yeah, I hope you guys go down in the description below and check out those guys, as I would really appreciate it because they're awesome guys. They're funny to play with, and uh, they make some pretty cool content. Uh, yeah, so definitely go down and check. Check their links in the description and the channels as I would really appreciate it and I think they will do it as well and tell them that I sent you uh, so they know where you're coming from. Uh, so yeah, I will definitely go do that and uh, yeah. I hope you guys have a great day and if you like, please, or if you enjoyed, please do leave a like and subscribe as it really really helps me out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Take care.